Hey everybody, Oliver Joyce from Whiskey Barrel Studios, and guess what? The votes are in. About a week and a bit ago, I asked you guys to help me with a poll. I needed help coming up with a new name for the game formerly known as Sword and Sandals 6. And I came up with four options. Those were Sword and Sandals Ultra Gladiator, Swords and Sandals Forever, Sword and Sandals Immortals, and Sword and Sandals Excelsior. And I put that poll out to Discord and Twitter and YouTube and basically all my social media platforms. And I tried as best as I could to sort of collate all the results together. And drum roll, please. No actual sound effect today. But the winner was Immortals with 43.7% of the vote on Twitter anyway. Now you add to that the comments on YouTube and on um, Discord and so on. And I've got to tell you, it um, it really romped it in. Um, hey, get away. Uh, yeah, that's, you know, nearly half the vote went to Immortals. So that's what the game's going to be called, Swords and Sandals Immortals. Now that, now that I have a name, I've sent that off to my artist to design a logo in about a week, week and a half or so, we will reveal the new logo from the game. And from now on, I'm going to be calling it Sword and Sandals Immortals. Now, if you go back and uh, listen to my video last week, it's funny. That's the the name that I was sort of the least sure of. It was the one that I was like, oh, I don't know about this one. But I don't know if it's confirmation bias or, you know, um, the more sort of the more popular something is the more you sort of get conditioned to like it. And I've, think, I've thought about it a fair bit. And, you know, it's starting to grow on me, and I do like it now. It's it's one of those names that sort of it conjures up uh, images of grandeur and, um, you know, for lack of a better term, immortality. Uh, and when I read all the comments that said, yeah, that's the name, that's, that's what we want, it made me think, you know, this game is for you guys. That's the name you want. That's what it's going to be. And, and, you know, I think I like it. And I'm actually going to work it into the lore of the game somehow, uh, whether the Immortals are something, you know, or a title that you can reach, or we'll, we'll figure it out so it actually makes sense in the game contextually. So um, I'm kind of just, I'm happy to have a name for the game, you know. I do miss the fact that, uh, you know, we're no longer calling it Sword and Sandal 6, but I'm going to come up with a little surprise for you guys uh, in a little while, which will... Um, um, show you how Sword and Sandals 6 will remain part of the game as far as, you know, we'll tie it in there somehow. Um, yeah, so that's the big news of the week, really. And I'm going to go through now and tell you what else I've been working on. Over the last week or so, I've been gathering sound effects and vocals and so on for the game. That's a huge process and I'm not complete at all, but we now have... Um, funk noises and you know armor going crash and um weapons clunk and hit and so on <laughs> you know for lack of a better term there are official terms from foley effects for the game and the good thing about using the Godot engine is i'm able to do little pitch pitch shifts on these effects so i bring a sword sound into the game and you can have a more high pitch sword sound or a lower pitch sword sound so you just end up with a lot more variety of sound effects in battle um, using a smaller sound base i've still got tons of sounds in there but they doesn't sound as repetitive as it used to and i have got a bunch of vocals in there so far i have 10 vocal sets uh nearly half of them my own uh i've recorded but I've gotten vocal sets from my wife. Uh, my little boy Isaac has done a vocal set. He'll be voicing the uh, the Sagan blobs, and they're they're really funny. Uh, they sound really quite quite adorable, really. And um, we have uh, vocal sets from my good friend Tom Gattenhoff, and we'll be getting vocal sets from um, hopefully a number of uh, popular YouTubers, including um, hopefully Charlie Penguins, Karolek from Poland, uh, Easy Speezy, the excellent. Um, Twitch streamer, and hopefully some more. So I'll keep you posted on uh, those. I'm still sort of in the works of working out how that's all going to come to pass. But having this variety of vocal set just mean that different um, species can have their own unique vocals uh, and 
um, you can also adjust the pitch of them to suit your character's, you know, size and just, you know, vocal quirks. Uh, I think it's a really nice addition to the game. And I'm going to show you now just a sneak preview of what uh, that will sound like in the game. All right, so what you can see here is a uh, very zoomed in version of the uh, game interface. I've shown you this before in recent weeks. I'm holding off on showing you the gladiators, yet that will come. I promise you that will come in in time. I've just got to put the, the reveal trailer together. But what I wanted to show you today is just the sounds in the game, the, the vocal sounds in particular. And you can see here we have uh, the classic voice set. Uh, that's been around as long as Sword and Sandals and actually a lot longer. It's done by a Dutch guy called Van Van Nispen a uh, long time ago. And you can actually hear that vocal set in, in some movies and things. I remember hearing it pop up in Children of Men. It's, it's a Creative Commons free sound set that uh, has been around, you know, 20 plus years. So uh, a lot of people know it from Sword and Sandals and, it's, uh, and think it's me that did that. Yeah! But it wasn't. So well, now one of the cool things with this is you can change the pitch of this as well for the first time ever in Sword and Sandals. So so notice how sort of deeper those sound and you can actually make them higher pitched. So that's kind of fun too. <laughs> All right. Uh, we've got a few other vocal sets to show you as well. This is um, my buddy Tom. He picks random sounds, basically. These are some of mine. And of course, you, know, you can change the pitch. This is uh, Barty X, my uh, my friend William, who did these ones. Oh, 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 ooh, ooh. Uh, <coughs> another one of mine. <coughs> Help! Deckard Kane, this is one of mine too. Oh, ah. Those who know Diablo will know Deckard Kane. <coughs> Help! <laughs> Ridiculous. Ah. Um. There are other voice sets I'm not going to reveal because they're actually specific to different characters like the automatons and so on. Um, but you can uh, <laughs> you can hear them in the full game. Uh, yeah, as I said, my son Isaac did a voice set for the Sagan Blobs and it's a really cute sort of jelly sound. Um, the automatons sound, you know, particularly robotic. If you heard them in Sword and Sounds 3, they sound similar to that. And you'll be able to choose that vocal set as well. But uh, the new one is pretty cool. Uh, there's undead vocal sets, and uh, there will be vo vo vocal sets hopefully coming from, uh, you know, Charlie Penguins and so on, uh, aka Moist Critical. Um, we'll see. You know, we'll you know, nothing is set in stone. But uh, having all these voices in the game, having all these voices in the game, really sort of, to me, adds a, a lot of variety and character to the game, and. Um, you know, when you hear battles and hear them screaming and the swords slashing and the music in the background, it really does feel uh, like a lot of fun. I've also been working on the arenas in the game. Uh, there is a lot of arenas, and I'm going to start talking about them next week. Uh, but for now, you should know that there's going to be uh, over 25 arenas in the game, you know, visually looking different. Everything from caves to deserts to full coliseums and so on. So, uh, like everything in this new Swords and Sandals Immortals, everything is bigger and better than ever. Uh, that's all I got for you this week. Um, I hope you guys um, have a brilliant week. Thank you so much for voting on the, um, the game title. It feels fantastic to have something locked in. I'm looking forward to revealing the official logo for you real soon now. All right, I uh, better get on with it. I've got a lot more arenas to put in. There's a lot of Photoshop work I need to do to get this all happening. Uh, so I've got a busy week ahead of me. Until next time, my friends, bye for now.